Hi folks, today I want to talk about Astro. Astro is a new web framework very different from the others. It's not a replacement of React, Angular or Vue, because it allows you to build a fast website focused on content, based on the concept of Island. An island, by default, is a static template with no JavaScript, so it loads very quickly. But it can also be an interactive UI built in React, Vue, SolidJS, Svelte, and so on. Astro supports several features, but today I want to show you how you can mix all these frameworks together in the same page. The first step is the creation of a new Astro project with the latest version. We can now define the project name and the template, and I select the basic. Now I can install all the dependency, initialize Git and select if I want to use JavaScript or TypeScript, strict or not. Now I can open the project with Visual Studio Code and I suggest to install the official Astro extension for the marketplace. In the root folder you can find the Astro configuration file, while in the source folder we have a page folder that represents our roots, currently just the index. The layout folder contains special Astro component used for creating reusable templates, and of course the component folder can contain our components. Now we can open the terminal and run the demo project on localhost 3000. Card.astro is an example of Astro component, but now I create another one from scratch. But first I want to clean the index page, removing everything. Now I can create a panel Astro file, and since I use TypeScript I define all the properties this component should upset, title and icon. I can now get all the properties from astro.props, and now I can use them in the template I write below. The template system is very similar to other modern front-end frameworks, so I can use brackets to include expressions and display the property values, and the slot element to display children. And finally, I can open our index page and create an instance of this component passing title and icon. As you can see, the page now displays our component, but since I want to improve the layout, I can now add also some CSS and update the template. Finally, I come back to index and I add some content to the panel that is used from the slot element. I can also create another panel and it should work fine. Now I want to add a React component, but first I need to add the React support by using mpx astro add react. This command will install all the dependencies and it will configure the project to support React. I can now create a new hello react tsx file that contains a React component with a local state to handle a counter. This counter is shown inside the button and when it's clicked the counter is updated. So I use the use state hook to initialize the counter to zero and when the button is clicked I simply increase the counter by one. I will also import React to remove the template errors, but honestly it should not be necessary. I can create an instance of the component in the index page and as you can see it doesn't work. The template is visible but it's not interactive. In fact by default an external UI framework is not hydrated in the client. The HTML is rendered onto the page without JavaScript, so it doesn't work, because the template is visible but it's not interactive. By using the client load directive, we communicate to Astro that this component has an high priority and should be visible and interactive as soon as possible. Now I add some break element to move the component out of the viewport and I run the build command. This command generates a new dist folder with our build and we can test if it works by running a web server. If I now open Chrome DevTools, we see that our React component is loaded by a chunk when the page is loaded. But if we now change the client directive to visible and we run the build command again, we see a new behavior. The React component is not shown when the application loads, but only when I scroll down and it becomes visible. That's very cool because you can simply define different priorities to each part of the page. This concept is called island, and each island can be static content or an interactive component, and you can also mix them in the same page. Now we can do the same with view, adding support by using this command, mpx astro add view. The concept is very similar to the previous one, but this time I want to show you how this command updates the Astro config file and add the frameworks in the integration property. So now I can create a new hello view 
dot view file and I create another component with a counter. This component initializes a value property to zero and has an increment function invoked by a button. Now I can add the component onto the index page and as before it doesn't work without the client directive. So we can set it to visible, load and so on and I suggest to read the documentation to see all the available behaviors. Finally, we can create another component by using Svelte, adding the support for this framework as we did before. The command updates the astro.config file, adding the support for Svelte, and now we can create a new Svelte file with another counter. This file simply contains a counter variable that is increased when the button is clicked. Now I create a new instance of the hello Svelte component in index.astro by using the client load directive while React and Vue are set to visible. Now the application works fine, but if I add some line break elements and I run the build again, you will notice that the Svelte component is loaded when the application loads, since the client load directive is applied to this component, while the Vue component chunk is loaded when I scroll down, and the same for React.